semiconductor technology has been enormously advanced for several decades. A well-known Moore's law indicates that uh, semiconductor device performance has been two times improved in every 18 months. Actually, this remarkable advance is based on robust circuit patterning technology based on post lithography. But this long-standing technology is getting close to its intrinsic resolution limit, particularly for sub-10 nanometer scale patterning. Actually, the equipment is becoming too much expen expensive and it's very hard to achieve mass producible. We are trying to overcome such kind of issue by employing bottom-up approach based on molecular self-assembly. Natural molecules like DNA or proteins and synthetic molecules like block of polymers can spontaneously assemble into ultra-fine pattern structure, even in sub-10 nanometer scale dimension. Block of polymer sim film can be assembled, spontaneously assembled into nanopattern structure on semiconductor surface to make a template structure. Actually, I was very fortunate to obtain large area defect-free nanopatterning based on molecular self-assembly. I also worked on how to modify for uh, device-oriented structure. A few years ago, my research group reported the interesting approach that block of polymer self-assembly can really enhance the pattern density of conventional photolithography. We can get less than 20 nanometer scale pattern from 100 nanometer scale photolithography process. And we could also entirely transform micrometer scale photolithography pattern into nanoscale pattern uh, based on this approach. And this is a kind of lowest price, uh, largest area patterning ever reported so far. When you get desired nano pattern structure, actually you want to transfer the pattern structure into uh, underlying functional devices. But some, in some cases, black hole polymer self-assembly is not compatible for particular substrate. Actually, we can overcome this kind of issue by employing muscle-inspired adhesive. As you know, muscle can adhere anywhere, even in wet condition. This general adhesion can be useful for uh, universal nanopatterning process, which, which is useful for arbitrary substrate material. And owing to the international research effort, including ours, uh, directed self-assembly of black hole polymers integrated with uh, photolithography is now seriously considered in international technology roadmap for semiconductor. This is a very promising for practical application, actually. And it is obvious that any kind of IT devices are transforming into bendable and foldable and even wearable from nowadays, but it's very hard to find highly integrated, uh, for flexible devices yet. That is due to the lack of uh, flexible nanopatterning technology. Actually, we challenge this interesting issue by employing graphene as a new flexible substrate material. Over the graphene substrate, we can stabilize uh, self-assembled or any other nanopattern structure, and after that, transfer onto any uh, non-planar or flexible geometry. We al already demonstrated that highly complicated three-dimensional uh, structure having self-assembled patterning is possible based on this approach. And we also demonstrate that functional nanowires and nanodot structure can be also stabilized that conventional flexible polymer substrate. Group is also trying to extend the principle of molecular self-assembly for many different functional materials other than block of polymers. And actually one-dimensional carbon nanotubes and two-dimensional graphene can be assembled into many different macroscopic two-dimensional or three-dimensional approach. Actually, this movie shows that very fine nanoscale graphene particles can be assembled into large area film in a very fast way. Actually, we can get 10 centimeter diameter highly uniform graphene film by two minute assembly at water surface. We also demonstrated that graphene flakes can be assembled into large area porous film structure at metal surface by layer by layer self-assembly. This is really scalable process, so we can get really large area graphene gel film based on self-assembly behavior. We are discovering that self-assembly can be really useful for many different applications. We, we al already demonstrate that solar cells and nanocomposite and energy devices and liquid crystal and many others can really benefit from 
our uh, self-assembly based approach. Uh, the primary question that I would like to share with you in after uh, following discussion is why is it hard to improve material and device performance when we use carbon tubes and graphene? It's a kind of general question. Thanks for your attention.